There are some that are calling for a safety change on part of a road that's known as Dead Man's Curve. If you don't know, that curve is right on FM 986 and County Road 246 near the town of Poetry in Kaufman County. That's why we made this map to show you better. Amelia McGavro talked to a couple who saw the aftermath of a deadly crash right in front of their home. This is where their son took his last breath. Sherry and her husband Jack Mullins spent their Father's Day weekend picking up what's left of a young driver who lost his life in front of their home. It's an evil place, the curviest. The Mullins admit their front yard has become a graveyard over the years due to this sharp curve on FM 986. We know that someone on a motorcycle died here, right here. We know that someone, uh, another young man in a, in a car died here. The latest crash this weekend claiming the life of 21 year old Braxton James. DPS investigators say James drove off the curb, hit a tree, rolled over and then died at the hospital. Yeah. It bothers me more than you can imagine because I'm a mom. Braxton's parents say he was coming back from a roping competition the night of the crash and had only been home for one week after serving in the army overseas in Poland. It's their sons. The parents even coming back to the Mullins home to recover any of their son's items strewn in the yard. This is what they've got left of their son. And uh, and it's sad and I'm mad. I'm not just sad, I'm mad that they're having to go through it. These are our neighbors, our friends, whether we know them personally or not. Mm -hmm. And the next child could be yours. Yeah. And you can see behind me how sharp this turn is for any oncoming driver. The Mullins family actually concerned about speeding here as well. The city of Poetry actually got TxDOT to reduce the speed of this curb last year, but neighbors still tell me it's not enough. The Mullins think more reflective tape, rumble strips, and even flashing lights could help drivers navigate the turn. TxDOT says it reviews all fatal crash reports each month and will make modifications to roads if warranted. We can't give up. We have to be the squeaky wheels. The Mullins are still finding Braxton's belongings in their yard days later, like the switch knife and his keys still hanging in the tree. Sherry promising Braxton's family his death will not be in vain. And we made a vow. What'd you say? We made a vow that we were going to try to get this so that no other family would have to go through this. In Kaufman County, Emily McGavro, CBS News, Texas. So we asked TxDOT about other crashes that happened on that part of the road there, and they tell us this weekend's crash is the only reported deadly crash that they say has happened on that curve in the last five years.